60,000 free plugins on wordpress.org. Sounds amazing, right? Wrong. It's a nightmare. I've spent the last 15 years building more than 500 websites and testing over a thousand of these plugins. And here's the truth. Most of these plugins are bloated, abandoned or just plain broken. But I found or created 10 plugins that actually work. These are the ones I install on every site I built. No exceptions. So, if you're tired of wasting hours trying plugins that promise everything and deliver nothing, stick around. I'm showing you exactly which ones are worth your time, and more importantly, why they made the cut when 990 others didn't. And the first plugin I want to show you is called FormGent. Currently it's my favorite form building plugin. I have made a separate video about it, but here's a brief overview. You can create forms, you can start from scratch, you can use a template, and there are approximately 30 templates here. You can create a form with an AI. You can create classic forms, and you can create conversational forms. If you build a form, you can create it using a Gutenberg block editor. For example, let's create a name field, change the label, add an email, set the column width, text area. There are a bunch of different fields here, single choice, drop downs, multiple choice, Google Maps address, so on and so forth. The free version also has a conditional logic here. It's a lightweight plugin, really easy to use, and I like it a lot. So this was my first favorite plugin. The next one is also related to the Gutenberg editor. This time it's a Spectra blocks. If you want to create a page, then add a page. I have the plugin installed. And this means now you'll see this nice sidebar here. I can add my own shortcuts here, whatever blocks I would like to add here, for example, dynamic forms. Now just add a container or whatever block I have here, or choose from this list, approximately 40 or so blocks here. There is a design library with patterns, pages, and even with the kits. For example, this kit here has three templates. If I want to add this here, just click, insert, and done. And now nothing else, then I need to edit the content and the images. Now the Spectra Blocks is well-known plugin. Currently it has more than 1 million active installations. And the team behind the Spectra is the same or behind the famous Astra team. So if you're looking an alternative to your Elementor page builder, or you would like to start building awesome sites with Gutenberg, then Spectra is the way to go. Next plugin, I built it myself. It's an Ajax plugin manager for WordPress. And what will it do for you is, there is a menu up here. When I click here, then wherever I have on my site, for example, even on the dashboard, I can open up this one here, activate or deactivate plugins. I can delete them. For example, let's delete something. Boom, done. If I need to activate something, then I can do it also here. Just click and the plugin is activated. One more thing the plugin does for us is that there is an upload plugin button. When I click here, then I am redirected to add to plugin button. And third thing the plugin does for us is that when the plugin is installed, you'll see active plugins first and deactivated plugins down below here. By default, they are mixed all together and this makes finding important stuff harder. But this way it is much easier. Next, since we're already messing with the plugins, the plugin I'm going to introduce is called Deactivate and Delete. Another plugin I created for myself. So, what will it do for you is a simple thing. By default, if you want to delete the plugin, you first have to deactivate it. Click this annoying button for some plugins. When this is done, scroll down and delete it. But this plugin helps you skip a couple of steps. For example, I can click on this deactivate and delete link and nothing else to it. With a simple click, it's deactivated and deleted. It also works as a bulk selection. Choose it here, apply and done. Nothing especially difficult, but it's a nice and nifty time saver for you. 
Now what I tend to do is before handing over the site to my customers, I'm going to click on this link here and I'm going to deactivate and delete this plugin itself just to avoid the problems when the customers delete something accidentally here. Next plugin I install on my site is SureRank and it's also a plugin which is built by the same team who is behind the extra team. It's a fairly new plugin, it was released three or four months ago and at the moment it already has more than 100,000 active installations and mostly five star reviews. Let's test it. I'm using my favorite testing tool TasteWP for it. So let's create the site. It will create me a site within 10 seconds and it opens up the site with SureRank installed. As you see, it has a checklist with your site SEO analysis. If you open up the page or post, then there is a SureRank panel here. Enter your focus keyword, change your SEO title or description some advanced options, schema options. You can set up images for social media and basically there is nothing else to it. Why I like it so much is it's easy to use. It's not bloated and it's lightweight compared to most of the other popular SEO plugins. Okay, time to move to the next plugin and it's called Loco Translate. For most of the English speaking world, you most likely don't need this plugin but I'm sure you have understood that English is not my main language and therefore most of the sites I build is not in English. Therefore, I need a plugin which allows me to translate plugins and themes. For example, when I want to translate plugin, I'm going to open it up, create new language, select that I want to translate this plugin to my own language. So... Select the translation files location. I'm going to select languages, plugins, start translating. And now easy peasy, when I want to translate anything here, I just click, add my translation. Select next one. And when I finished, I'm going to click save. And when I use the site in this language, all these strings are translated. So this is a local translate and why you may need it. Next plugin is custom WordPress admin dashboard creator. Once again, it's a plugin I created for myself. And the reason behind it is I was fed up by the same questions after finishing the website for my customers. How to do this, how to do that. So I created a plugin which allows me to create a custom WordPress dashboard here. I'm going to put my tutorials most important links and so on. And how do you do that? Go to the settings, custom dashboard, create a page with your page builder. I created a page called documentation. That is this page here. I use the Spectra blocks to create this page. Now I select this page here. If there are more than one person managing the site, then you can also add role specific pages. I'm going to hide the dashboard page header and footer. And I can add shortcuts, which are here. As you see, add page, this one here, download the plugin, managing the plugin. If I need to add anything else, let's do that. Go to Google, add your link, open a new tab, save changes. It's here. Go to Google, boom, done. This way I can help my customers. So there is no need to ask me how to use a block editor, how to create the contact form and so on and so forth. There's a dashboard, contact information. If there's any need to send me an email, then do it here and it works like a charm. All my custom plugins, uh, I'm going to put the link to these in the video description, but also go to my site. There is a downloads area. There are a bunch of other cool plugins I have created, but now Back to the topic, next plugin I'm going to show you is called WP Code Lite and I use this to add code snippets to my sites. What are the code snippets? I'm going to show you, for example, let's go to the code snippets. So if I want to disable auto update email notifications for plugins and teams, then I'm going to add this small piece of code here. I'm going to select that it runs on administration area only, update and it disables this feature. 
if I want to remove the site health from the dashboard, then I'm gonna do it with the help of this code. Once again, runs on admin page only. If I wanna remove emojis from my WordPress, because I don't use any emojis, and why would I need to load this script, then I'm gonna add this code snippet, run on front end only, and done. This is the reason I'm using this W code light plugin. Okay, eight plugins are reviewed, two to go. So let's take a look at the next one. And this one is called WP Vivid. I use it for backups and migrations, sometimes for staging. And what it allows me to do is that I can enable backup scheduling daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, or after every 12 hours, I can restore my backups. I can migrate my site from one domain to another or from my local environment to the hosting. It's easy to do, use auto migration from the one site, generate the code, paste this code here on your other site, then save, click on clone, then transfer, and it will be done for you. The site will be transferred and there is nothing else for you to do than restore it. You can create database snapshots. You can create staging sites. And there is also an image cleaner here. You can scan your site and delete unused images. Currently it has more than 800,000 active installations and I use it on every site. The last plugin I'm going to show you is called WP Optimize. It's a cache, compressed images, minify and clean database plugin. How does it work? First, let's take a look at the database. You can optimize your database here. You can delete tables. For example, as you see, it displays that Elementor has a database table, but this plugin is not installed and it left some garbage inside my database. So I can safely remove this table. I don't have any fluent forms installed. I'm going to remove this one here. And this way I can clean up my database with a couple of clicks. Scroll down and see there is a Fluent SMTP plugin installed, which is not installed, but there is a database table. Let's remove it. Bunch of other plugins I have tested previously. All of them left some garbage in my database. This is the first use case. The other use case is that you can activate page caching. You can preload your site, activate gzip and static file headers. You can minify your site and this is usual if you want to speed up your site. Under the performance, you can enable 404 pages detector and that's basically it. It is also a well-known plugin with more than 1 million active installations and as you see, more than 2,000 five-star reviews. Awesome stuff. So yeah, once again, these are the 10 plugins I use on every site. And there's a bonus tip for you. There is a tool called Local WP. It's a local WordPress development tool. I use it to build sites in my computer. I have created a blueprint site that is, it contains all my teams, all the plugins and setups. If I need to create another site for my customers, I'm gonna just click, clone the site. Here's my blueprint. And when it's done, then all my plugins I use are installed. They are configured under the appearances. I have my favorite team Bloxy with the basic configuration. And all this means I don't need to configure all the plugins from scratch every time. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.